Hello again, this is uh, the February Intensive 2017, the 19th of February, uh, PM day three. And just, you know, right now it's uh, 8.44 PM. Everyone's going to go eat, especially those who have tested and it's been, you know, a lot of time uh, spent training and a lot of time uh, in the grading. Uh, and so a lot of them are just like, oh, finally done, I'm gonna go eat. And so I'm happy to see them going and uh, enjoying themselves. For me, I'm gonna stay and train. Uh, and I have a little bit of nibbles that I brought with me that I'm going to be able to hold myself over. But I'm going to the jacuzzi, which I'm very happy about. Uh, today, we, in the PM, uh, you know, I find out a lot about what I'm doing wrong. And you know, um, my instructor and some other instructors were able to help point that out to me and my alignment needs to really be focused on and going through the diagnostic of if I'm having the 631 and especially uh, my problem areas which is the alignment and it's something I'm, I'll definitely have to work on and be conscious of uh, from now on until it really sticks to me uh, and you know doing this uh, the sticky hands process was pretty nice uh, today I started to feel more connections to understand, you know, understanding what I'm doing, uh, and the sensing and the listening skills were a little better. But I also think my training partners were being more aware of, uh, you know, their own problems, but especially things that were going on, you know, wrong with me. And and I helped telling them, hey, just slow down, keep it easy with me. Uh, I'm learning this stuff. Uh, I'm I'm newer at this level and. Rob, you know, was able to give me some pointers as well as a lot of other people, and uh, it, it's nice to, you know, first set up what you want to practice, what you want to sort of work on, uh, and just like Si Gong was saying, you would work on that stuff, but also switch to working on something that you had done before. So, for example, we were practicing, uh, you know, the. Um, the, the the frontal the uh, the vertical up and down uh, this uh, the the wiping horizontal wiping that when someone goes in you can feel it at the, the point of contact and you can do a wipe and send them in, an, in another direction and that was really helpful for me to slow it all down to fill everything and my most the biggest problem that I had was just meeting and matching just immediately on the point of contact I can feel that center to center and, and, and center uh, the circle to center uh, and then the center with the cross but just getting just getting that to the bone just getting being neutral on the bone was my hardest task in the beginning and I feel like what whoever's just starting off with spinning hands or touching hands with other people just getting that is is so important uh, as, as your sort of foundation to everything uh, and then worrying about everything after that that will come but in addition to that so, you know the previous days I've mentioned working on understanding my own body through all of this uh, so that was extremely important to me uh, as I was doing this I, I was conscious of my shoulders because my shoulder here started getting a little pain from the day before uh, and I was like oh this is because I'm you know, using it wrong, I'm not being aligned when I'm doing so. I became a lot more conscious of these things, and I feel that throughout this time here, this intensive, I've really become more uh, in tune with my own body because I've been looking towards it uh, as as a as a gauge of what I'm if I'm doing things right or not. Uh, my exhaustion is, uh, is um, indicative of me not doing things properly. My pain, in my shoulder, indicative of me not doing things properly. Uh, and and so if you are a lower level and you're considering doing the intensive, you know, I'm not going to stop you, but for sure, for sure, pay attention to your body and make sure that you're getting your alignment well because you don't want to hurt yourself. Uh, and just like Fa Jing, if you are doing work with a partner and you're, you know, tussling, having, you know, a great time, you could hurt yourself if you don't have the proper qualities uh, which are um, they're really self-protective they really help you and and you know for for everything that you could be doing you know unifying your mind your mind with your body so that was interesting the the control aspects the these the the wipings and practicing this you know they're coming in I can feel it because I'm meeting and matching and then I go oh I, I got it to the to the side, guide to the side. And then sometimes I would slap the hand of the other person so they would remember, you know, on bottom hand, I can slap the other hand in order to come around or to attack the body. And
and uh, that would allow them to okay to to, to watch for that mind uh, entrapment in a way um, because that can be a nice distraction so that I can come around and get on top so that was interesting uh, and, and then we had testing which was uh, very lengthy and I took uh, some videos and photos of that we had a level one, two, three, four uh, levels uh, testing, uh, and I thought that was it was quite fascinating. You see everyone up there and, and doing things, um, really reading the the system guide and understanding it and practicing and drilling yourself is indispensable to your training. And a lot of everyone is really about understanding your body and being aware of all these things. The academic scholarship element of this cannot be rejected. And so we do have to ask each other uh, and ourselves these questions that are within uh, the system guide and within the other book uh, because it's, it's definitely something that will be asked. And numerous questions were asked at the instructor level one testing. Uh, and I thought that was very um, interesting, but it's also usual. So that means that uh, definitely prepare for it and read up uh, and understand these things because uh, it's not only the, the body aspect but the mind aspect has to be there and you have to understand what you're doing. So that was that was fascinating. Uh, you know, Jung Sin is, is not easy. It's as, But you have what you need there in your body already and you just have to recognize it. You just have to get it. Uh, and once you start that recognition process you can overcome but it takes uh, I'd say there are different methods to getting to that recognition different training processes different um, uh, ways to you know get that observation that will speed you along faster than other ways and that is what I'm set out to explore uh, especially in my own process of learning and hopefully I can take you along for the journey Good night. Bye.